Hi, it's Dr. Steve. Thank you so much for joining me today for a few minutes talking about heart healthy topics that make a difference in your life. There are so many different pieces of the puzzle to be heart healthy and overall healthy. The problem is it's hard to have a life balance. Very difficult to do that, but we all strive for that. We all want it. Think about those days and how busy we are and, and time just flies by. The problem with daily time flying by it can lead to a lifetime of, of time flying by and that's not good. And when it comes to your heart health and your overall health, you need to take a better uh, look at your time and try to take more control over your time. And so there is a significant power in the choices that we make. So we can make positive or negative choices, but those choices have consequences. And so if we know what those are, we're better off to become more healthy. So what I'm going to talk today about is planning ahead, is having a plan that will help you look at time, look at it maybe a little bit differently, and put your priorities where they should be. Now there's a 10 steps to having a more balanced life. Now the first step is to write down the things that you do in your life, kind of the daily things. So you're trying to fit things in. And there's a list of things here that go over uh, kind of some general things that people try to fit in on a daily basis. Let's take a look at those. Sleep, personal care, meals, work, housework, household care, shopping, commuting, leisure, physical activity, time, uh, faith, uh, communication, family, significant other, meditation. All of these areas are important to some extent for people one way or another. Some may you cross, some you may cross off, but you have a number of things that fill up your day. So what are the other 10 steps to a healthy life? Well, number two is write the amount of time associated with each daily thing. Number three, write the reason why you want to be healthy. Number four, write a number one in front of the most important item that supports your reason why. And you continue this with number two, number three, but keep in mind the reason why you want to be healthy, why you want optimal health. Think about those reasons. What's most important to you in your life? And go down and categorize them. Next, now let's look at number six. Evaluate your list and try to see what things don't support what you're doing. Don't support the reason why. Number seven and eight are things have to do with giving yourself permission, give yourself permission to say no, give yourself permission to take care of yourself. Number nine is track time. It's very easy for time to get out of hand and to slip by you. So track your time, use these, this list to help you track your time. And number 10, make adjustments as needed. So where does physical activity fit in with you? Where does it fit in in your life, in your time? Well, we all know that there's barriers. There's significant barriers. There's a number of different barriers, and we're gonna focus on time, but there are other ones. And I put a list here of other barriers. So barriers like energy, motivation, weather, travel, support, habits, organization. All of these things have an impact on your time, which directly impact your time for physical, acti physical activity or your willingness to do physical activity. Now, we only have 24 hours in a day. I wish we could stretch it out, but we can't. And so we have these slivers, these pies, pieces of the pie, and there's only 24 of them. So what are we gonna do with those 24? Well, there's some constants, and, and when it comes to health, sleep is a constant. The other thing that you'll see here is that if you look at the other time you have, just outside of sleep, you have 16 hours. But you're thinking, oh my gosh, Dr. Steve, I have so many things to do during the 16 hours. How am I gonna get it done? I agree, you've gotta be organized. So next, one of the things is eating. We all have to eat, so add a couple hours to eating. So now you're looking at 14 hours. But aha, what if you work? What if you have a job? So that's usually about eight hours. So now you're, you're chiseling down the other amounts of time that you have. Now this is just during the week. So now we're going into this day with six hours left. So six hours left doesn't sound like a lot, but actually it is because remember we've taken care of work, we've taken care of sleep, we've taken care of the um, food. Now you may have to commute and it may take a couple hours. Well, you've got four hours. What are you going to do with four hours?
this is where the physical activity comes in. This is it. That's where the power of choice is so important. And you have to think about it. I can do it, not I can't do it. So go back, look at your list, work on that list, prioritize things, work on healthy living, work it into that time schedule. Don't just hope that you have time, plan for that time. So you're basically taking control of your time. And it's just ahead if you take action. Good luck.